Hey beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Josie with Awakened Soul. In case you're new here, if you are new here, I don't know if you just came from part one or what, but you guys, this whole thing started off with a car reading. And if you know, you know if you're an OG. My car readings are usually really short, quick, straight to the point. But that one was so chaotic and so many messages were coming through. I had no choice but to come in and do a part two simply because um, there were so many different messages. I could not fit that into like a four minute video. So here we are. This is part two. Um, hopefully it's going to be a little bit less chaotic. I was very overwhelmed in part one simply because all the messages were coming through and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot do this in like four minutes. So um, anyway this will be less chaotic because I have enough time to be able to break this down for you because this is a very specific message and there are a lot of even more specific messages interwoven within this, okay? So this might not resonate with everybody's situation. However, it was clearly a message that wanted to come out for someone. So I know this is meant for somebody out there and it's some tea, you guys. That's all I'm gonna say, so... Let me break it down. There are a few different elements that are interwoven here, okay? And I have to figure out how to organize this and not get overwhelmed myself, but anyway, okay. We're talking about your specific person in case this is the first one you're watching and you didn't see part one. Um, I'll, break out, I'll break down the different elements for you, okay. So we're talking about your specific person, the person that came to mind when this video found you and you had a calling to click on it, right? We have the wolf, the beaver, the tarantula, scorpion, the bee, two of cups, the empress, and the devil. I pulled these to clarify what the heck was going on over here. So I'm going to start with that. Um, we're talking about an individual who is very, very, very social or focused on the opinion of other people. These other people are likely to be community members of yours, like members of your community. You guys probably live around each other, or um, if not, your person is very active in their community, like they're well known around town, so to speak. They know a lot of people. Um, and also, they're very focused on what their family has to say, okay? So your person is very social. I wouldn't be surprised if they were extroverted or again, they just really care a lot about the judgment of others, the opinion of others, their public reputation. You get the gist of it, okay? There are also other family elements that I'll break down in a little bit here, but I'm gonna try to organize this as clearly as I can, you guys. So anyway, your person's very focused on the opinion of others and their public reputation. They're at a crossroads right now, you guys regarding you and your connection because of that reputation that they hold, okay? So that's going to be the dominant energy of this reading. They want to be with you, but they feel like for some reason your connection is taboo or forbidden or would be judged by the community. I don't know why that is the case. There are a plethora of reasons. I'm gonna leave that up to you. You know your situation better than I do. Could be an age gap. It could be that one or both of you guys are married or in another relationship. It could be that um, you guys have like religious differences or something like that. I don't know. You guys fill in the blanks. They believe that there is something about your connection that is taboo at least in their opinion, as in they believe that the community and their family or your family or your community would judge the two of you coming together. And that is heavily on their mind right now. But that's not the only thing that's on their mind because they want to be with you, okay? They want to be with you. We're going to get intentions out after this. I'm just breaking down the initial energies so you know that this reading is for you if it resonates. They want to be with you, and not only do they want to be with you, but they want to start a family with you too. Again, this is a very family-oriented person. They care about family. They care about community. They want to build a legacy. They want to have a home. This is a stable, grounded planner type of person. They're not airy. They're not fiery. They don't make rash decisions. This is somebody who wants to, um, like they're the type of person that takes a long time to make a concrete decision. They want to slowly but surely work their way into it, such as buying a home. They want to take time to save up to buy a home. They're not just spontaneously renting any place they can find. Like they have a meticulous plan and they are a long-term planner. This individual thinks about the long-term. 
They don't think about immediate gratification. Like a five-year plan to this person is a joke. They're thinking about their 10-year plan. They're thinking about where they want to be 20 years from now. Um, they're already thinking about retirement, even if they're in their 20s, for example, okay? This person sees you as a part of that plan. That's the thing here that your person is wrestling with because they are at a crossroads. They see the potential to literally have a family with you, possibly even having kids, or if the two of you already have kids, blending your families together. But for most of you out there, this person is thinking about having children with you just because with this card, with the Empress coming out, I pulled these cards to clarify those cards after I was already suspecting things and she is pregnant on this card. So they're thinking about having a family with you, a union, having kids together, blending your families together, having a household. But again, there is something taboo about the situation. They feel like they would get stung. These two cards came out side by side, the scorpion and the bee. They feel like they would get stung or burnt or there would be something about their public reputation that would be tarnished if the two of you guys came together. So I don't know. Again, I'm not going to dive into the what ifs. You would already know, okay? Um, and again, it could be something awfully minimal, but your person is so heavily focused on their public reputation that they like to appear perfect to the rest of the world, that even the smallest little thing getting in the way of that pristine reputation would upset them. So I don't know, but they feel stuck on you. They don't want anyone other than you. They feel very tempted by you. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if this person was in another relationship and that's what this taboo energy is, okay? Um, but they like only want you. It's like, I'm just like... <laughs> Looking at these two cards together, like they're being represented as this and you're being represented as this, um, and you can flip it, you know what I mean? Gen it's not like a gender thing, it's just the energy, right? It's like they want to reach out their hand to you. It's like they're so tempted by you in this connection that they're just like, take my hand, let's run away together. They're looking at you like this amazing person that they could spend the rest of their life with, like... Um, <laughs> but they just feel like they can't for whatever reason. So I wanna see what their intentions are, you guys. This is, an, this is gonna be kind of like an intense reading. Let me push these up so I have some space to work with. They, But I don't know, you guys, and I am getting like all chaotic and flustered again like I did with part one, simply because I think your person's mind is all over the place because they wanna be with you, they see you in their future, they see all of this potential, but they feel so blocked. And it has something to do with other people's opinions. It's not their own. It's not like their own feelings or wounds that are, well, technically, uh, they're, if they're overly fixated on the opinion of others, that's not very authentic. But anyway, aside from that, it's not like they don't want to be with you, is what I'm trying to say. They're just like feeling blocked because they don't know how other people are going to perceive this union. If you guys come together, they're at a crossroads, okay? They're at a big old fork in the road. Um, they know they have a choice to deepen this connection and take the heat, so to speak, the judgment, the drama, whatever might come from the two of you coming together, or to let go of the most beautiful opportunity they've ever seen. And I'm being so serious with you guys. They see this potential of having a life with you as all they've ever wanted, but they know that heat would come with it, drama would come with it for whatever reason. At least that's what their their perspective is on the matter. And so they're at like this intense, piv this very pivotal crossroads right now. Like this is not a joke to your person. They know that they can't have an in-between energy. It's all or nothing. And your person is like really trying to make a decision right now. So I want to see what what they're leaning towards right now, what their current intentions are. I'm seeing the Page of Swords just came out and landed on the ground, so I'll grab that. We also have the World. All right, so this is its own like little message. I'm going to have to clarify those two cards. They know they basically what this is telling me is they know they have to make a firm decision that they can't keep screwing around. They have to make a firm decision and they have to talk to you about it. Um, clarify, clarify the page of swords for me, please. Clarify the page of swords. Clarify the page of swords. Ooh. 
what is that communication about? They're afraid of the harsh words of other people. They're afraid of other people. Again, that's just basically confirming they're afraid of other people's judgment. What people might say, that's what it is. All right, how about the world? The Six of Cups. Okay. Give me more information about that, please. Clarify the world in the Six of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. These two cards together are talking about having a legacy. Again, the Ten of Pentacles is all about what we've already been discussing here. They want to have a legacy with you. They want to have a family with you. This person isn't just like, hey, let's have a fun little fling. No, this person is all or nothing. They want to completely reconcile with you and have a life, build a household together, build a family together, or they want nothing. Um, it's confusing me as to why the world is coming out. Because I don't see the two of you as being together right now. So can you can you help me understand the world, please, spiritual team? Whoa. Mm, okay. Hold on a second, you guys. I'm getting all the cards out that just came up. Okay, so now we have the chariot, the wheel, and the magician. Lots of major arcana, by the way. Major arcana. This person, like, they <laughs> they do not have light and casual feelings for you. That's all I'm saying, okay? Um, they feel like they are fully capable of making this happen, okay? Intentions-wise, it seems like they're preparing to take the judgment if that is what is necessary to make this legacy happen, okay? Um... The wheel is all about like a 180, things turning in your favor, things working out favorably, or whatever the situation is right now, it being the opposite and the inverse. So it's likely that the two of you are not talking about this right now. There has been an ending. This person has pulled back their energy to try to gain a, a better understanding of how to proceed with you. And what is coming next seems to be them trying to reconcile and tell you the truth and make this happen. Your person is feeling fully capable of taking on this challenge, this judgment, whatever this thing that they're perceiving is going to happen if the, you, the two of you come together is. They feel capable of taking that on right now, okay? They know that there's going to be some kind of external influence that's going to cause some upheaval between the two of you. You guys, this is such like, I don't know what to say. This is, I was not expecting this reading today, so you got to bear with me. I'm going to keep getting more information out. What's likely to actually happen? Okay, we see what this person has intentions-wise. What is likely to happen in this connection according to this current projection? Because they were at this crossroads, but it seems like even though this person feels like they're at a crossroads, they've already made a decision about what they're going to do. So what is that? The tower. Okay, so they know something's coming. <laughs> They know something huge is coming, okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so much drama. I don't know what to say. I was not expecting this today. Okay, talk to me a little bit more about what is likely to happen in this connection, please. What is likely to happen? Give me as much detailed information as you can, please, spiritual team. What is likely to happen in this connection? What is likely to happen in this connection, please? Queen of Swords. What is likely to happen with this connection? Whoa, that one went flying away. What was that? Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. What is likely to happen in this connection, please? There's one more. Yeah, thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, and I want you to clarify the seven of pentacles, please. Clarify the seven of pentacles for me, please. What is that? Yeah, so it's not. Okay, it's the opposite. All right, gotcha. 
Gotcha. Okay. Oh, you guys. Okay, so what's likely to happen in this connection? It seems like the decision your person is going to make is to proceed with this connection, even if there's drama. Okay, because we have the tower. Um, and that's indicating to me that there's going to be a, a level of upheaval that happens. Okay, so at least your person knows there's some drama coming from this connection, from what I can see here. Okay, the reason I had to clarify the seven of pentacles is because sometimes to me that indicates looking back with dissatisfaction about a decision that was made. And we have the wheel coming out here. So that's telling me that it's kind of like the inverse. Um, your person... What that's basically telling me is that in the future, you and your person are going to be looking back on all of the stuff that's gone down between the two of you and seeing how it didn't have to be perceived as as bad as it it seemed in your heads before it happened, that things might go a little bit more smoothly than you originally anticipated they would. If that makes sense, like your person is anticipating all of this drama and I do see the drama coming, okay? There's gonna be a big change at the very least, likely involving a move, a travel, okay? Moving away. But it's going to be a little bit better than what you guys had originally anticipated it would be. So there might not be as dr much drama as your person thinks there's going to be. We have the Queen of Swords. So there's going to be some authentic communication. It's there is going to be emotion coming with that in the near future as well. Like you guys are going to be talking this through is what I'm trying to say. You're going to be talking this through. There's going to be romance. There's going to be emotion expressed, but there's also going to be a lot of practicality. So there's like this balance coming in. I don't know if that's coming from, if it's like a split, like one of you is a hopeless romantic. The other one is overly practical. Um, it doesn't really matter because it seems that regardless of what's going on with that, you guys are going to be coming to a middle ground. There's going to be a balance between practicality and emotion. You guys are going to be coming up with a solution that fulfills your, your practical nature as well as your hearts. Okay, so I don't know what's I don't know what's up with that, you guys. This is so much drama. If you feel like sharing the drama down below, you are welcome to, but this is intense, okay? You guys are going to get romantic with each other. I can see that. There's going to be like a courting phase. There's going to be romance between the two of you. You guys are going to be entering into a relationship or at least the beginning stages of that are coming in the near future. But again, there's an element of both of you taking the practical nature of this into hand. It could involve moving. Like there would be a need for both of you to move in order to make this happen potentially. You'd have to travel. It could be that one of these like taboo elements that your person is perceiving is that this is a long distance connection. And that's part of why they feel like their family or your family would disapprove of this situation because one of you guys would have to move a long way away in order to be together. So let's say you guys live like a thousand miles away from each other. Your person is aware that your family or their family, one of you guys would have family members or community members that would be very disappointed because one of you guys would have to leave that community or your family in order to be in a relationship with each other. So that would make a lot of sense in this instance. Um, but I do see that working out better than you guys had originally anticipated that it would. For whatever reason, your person is like amplifying the potential of this drama, but it's going to be better than what you guys think it's going to be. It's still going to create like upheaval. Like one of you guys might have to completely uproot your entire life and move away in order to be with the other one um, or change your whole lifestyle in order to make this work. But it's not going to be as scary as your person is perceiving it will be, if that makes sense. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pack these up real quickly and we're going to get some oracle cards because I want to get out as much information as I possibly can for you guys because this seems like an intense situation. Again, it's probably rather specific. So let's get out info. That's my job. I'm the info bringer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to take a sip of water too. My gosh, you guys. What kind of crazy situation have you guys gotten yourself into? I don't know what else to say. All right. 
what else can you tell me? Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna get just a couple of these, and then I'm gonna get some situation cards out. Victory. It's gonna work out. Like whatever this is, it might seem scary, but it's it's going to work out. You guys are going to be victorious. What else can you tell me about the future? What the future holds for this? Grow. Yeah, this is probably for the purpose of development for both of you guys. This is a challenge that. Um, you're needing to go through to help you both grow as individuals in one way, shape, or form, okay? What else can you tell me about the future? There have been a lot of important lessons learned here is what I'm trying to say. Death. Okay, there's an end. What is ending? Can you talk to me about what is ending? I'm going to pull a couple tarot cards on that. Ooh, actually, no. That was the back of the deck. Disguise. You guys aren't going to, I don't know, maybe you guys were sneaking around or something like that. Like, I, again, another potential is that one of you guys is married and you've had to hide this connection because you don't want to face the judgment of others. But whatever this is, like this person wants to be with you. They don't want to have just like a, a sneaky, flirty, cheating situation, which I think is a good thing. I mean, my own personal opinion here, I know everybody's on their own journey and I'm not judging anyone, but I think if you want to be with somebody like... Like, don't go cheat on your partner. That's not very kind to do to the other person. Just, like, leave them and go be with the person you want to be with, is my opinion. But anyway, that's ending. That's ending. You guys aren't going to be hiding this connection. It's going to be a publicly recognized union between the two of you is what I'm getting from that information. All right, so let's get out some more. I'm going to actually hop over to my situation cards now. What is what else is coming for the future of this connection, please? Passion. Ooh. Keep the flame of passion alive. It's the heartbeat of love. Okay. So you guys are going to be having some passionate moments. Okay. What else can you tell me about the future of this connection, please? What else can you tell me about the future of this connection? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, okay. Twin flame. Trust the magnetic pull of your twin flame. It will guide you towards them. I don't know, so maybe that's part of it for you guys. Um, this could be your twin flame. Only take that if it resonates, please. Those are very rare connections. Um, although it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if you guys were simply based on the fact that it's common for there to be some type of a, a major barrier between twin flames. Again, like a long distance, a religious difference, age gap, um, something of that nature. So it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe that's confirmation for some of you guys out there. We also have together, find joy in the simple pleasures of just being together. So you guys are going to end up together. I mean, that's clear. There's no need to pick that message apart. There's going to be passion. You guys are going to end up together. This is moving in that direction. What else can you tell me about the future, specifically the future of this connection? The future. Healthy choices, self-love, self-care, being happier, love and life. Beautiful. Very beautiful. You can't beat that energy. What else can you tell me? Ah! Okay. Grounding. Stability and security, performance, growth, and endurance. That's the second time the growth energy has come out so this is a this is evolving you guys are going to be coming together you both are going to go through a period of growth which is very positive of course um st stability and security so that's a really important note here it for whatever reason this person is feeling like there's something scary about this maybe it could involve actual stability and security like a home life or finances for example wouldn't surprise me especially if there's a big move on the horizon but this is confirming that there will be stability and security that it will work out favorably in that department you guys are going to be okay um, financially and whatnot is what that's telling me okay so let me let me pull these back let me pull these back okay I'm gonna set that over there 
Um, you know what, actually, they just drew my eye to that deck. So I was gonna get messages, we'll do that next, but I'm gonna pull a couple archetype cards because my eye was drawn over there. Um, show me like the archetype of the connection in the future. Can you do that? The archetypes of this connection in the future. Yeah, there might be moving involved. There's like unlimited potential is what I'm getting from that. Unlimited potential. We have the empty room. It's kind of like a vessel. It's like nothing is set in stone yet, but there's unlimited potential of what comes next. You guys get to decide. Free will is a large, uh, largely at play here, as it always is. But there's some. You guys need to decide this together. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Well, a big change is coming. We already know that. We've already established that. Um, there is going to be healing in this connection. There is going to be a lot of love expressed. There's going to be growth and development. Um, they just showed me the kiss as the back of the deck. That's more passion energy. So you guys will have a physical connection with one another where you get to actually be with each other in the 3D. Um, and then we have the vision. So I don't know if one of you is like gifted psychically or maybe both of you are or maybe you guys have like fantasized about the end goal of this connection. Whatever one or both of you have envisioned would happen in this connection seems like it's going to. But again, there is going to be a lot of upheaval in the future. That's just further clarified. This connection itself, when you guys come together, is going to change things Forevs. I don't know what else to say. There's no going back from it once it happens. It's changed forever. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I just got the chills when I said that. Uh, let's get some messages from them. I'm going to see what they would say to you right now, if they could, since right now they're kind of going through this chaos in their head of what, what is to come potentially. What else What would they say right now? A card just fell to the ground, so I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson person feels like they've learned a lot okay they've learned a lot throughout the experience with you on a spiritual level but also on a, a personal level I think both of you guys have grown a lot from this experience finding out the truth crushed me I don't know I'm not getting anything specific from that card but just listen to your own intuition about that one okay all right oh you know what I'm getting from that. We had that come out too. And maybe this person tried to write your connection off as something superficial or shallow, especially if they were in or are in a marriage. Maybe they thought that they just were attracted to you because, you know, they were sick of the relationship they're in or were in, you know what I mean? Like they were were or are in a loveless relationship and maybe they tried to write off your connection as just something new and fun and exciting but then they came to realize that there was in fact something deeper going on here between the two of you um and it crushed them to find out that they were trying to write this off as a superficial connection if that makes sense i know i messed up everything maybe they walked away from your connection because they didn't want to deal with the drama or something like that that they're perceiving and they feel like it's their fault and they want your forgiveness. They hope that you can forgive them and reconcile. Remember, these are current messages from them, what they would say right now. We've talked about the future. We've talked about their current energies. This is what they would say to you right now whenever you're watching this, okay? You were the best thing in my life. Yeah, part of this. Okay, part of this. Yeah, you guys, that's telling a total story. Okay, so maybe for some of you guys out there, your person is in a loveless marriage or relationship, or they were. Again, you guys might have had like a, a sneaky situation where you were sneaking around together or something like that. I don't know, no judgment. This is just what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, and it was very exciting. They had a lot of passion for you. They had a lot of excitement. You were like the highlight of their life. Um, but they walked away for whatever reason, maybe because they felt like it was wrong or they shouldn't have feelings for you, uh, especially if they were in another relationship. Uh, so they tried to write this connection off as superficial, like you guys were just having fun and it was because they didn't like their other partner or whatever it was. And then they figured out that you guys have a deep connection and that you're like their true love. <laughs> I don't know. This is like a movie. I don't know what else to say. This is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get out more messages. Um, 
I'm making a plan. Yeah, that's obvious. I said that right away in the beginning. Your person is a planner um, and they're a long-term planner. I can't wait any longer. They don't want to wait any longer. That's obvious. There's nothing to pick apart there. They want to come in. Um, they are feeling confused. There's no denying that. Your person is going through a lot right now. Um, they are still in this crossroads energy, although they are, they have basically made up their mind that they're coming towards you. It's just that I think they're a little bit scared to take that step because again, they know that it's going to create a tower moment for both of you and there's no going back once they activate their plan. You know what I mean? I have a hard time communicating my feelings. That's part of it too. Something your person might be working on. Forgive me. Yeah, there's a lot about them knowing that they messed something up, that they feel like they messed up a really good thing with you, um, and they want to fix that. I don't know what else to say. Yep. Enough said. Can we have a fresh start? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, back of the deck. I didn't even see that. Who cares what they think? Yeah, that I've already talked enough about that. You guys, they, they feel like there's external judgment or something. Um, that's impending. It's like that sensation of impending chaos, impending doom. That's why your person hasn't activated their plan, so to speak, yet, because they know that there's no going back. All right, we're going to get out some tiles. These could spell out your name, their name, important words, or names in your connection. Uh, you're welcome to comment anything that I miss down below for the collective. So far, we're not really getting any vowels, just a couple of U's. States-wise, I'm seeing Minnesota, Tennessee, New Mexico, Nevada. Um, LV makes me think of Las Vegas or Louis Vuitton, so maybe that's important to one or both of you guys. And um, that's all I'm really saying, seeing here. Uh, yeah, because we don't have a whole lot of vowels. And I don't know. Anyway, if anything else means something to you guys, you can comment down below if you feel like doing that for the collective. All right. We also have an F coming out here. Yeah, and we have two swans making a heart together. This person feels like you're their true love and that this would be a connection that would last for the rest of their life. It's a, it's a wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true for them. We also have a palm tree here, so that could be a clue as to where maybe you guys live or they want to travel with to you. There's something about movement, so maybe they would want to move to a tropical destination or something like that. Um, we also have this like little character playing a banjo or something like that, so they do want to bring more lighthearted energy and sweetness into this connection, okay? They want to bring more gentleness because they feel like there's a lot of abrasive energy going on between the two of you right now, and they have a desire to lighten things up a little bit in the future. At least they're hoping that's possible. It's not going to be all chaos and drama. I don't know what else to say. Let's, ah, Let's get out a couple messages from the universe just for you now, you guys. If this is resonating so far and you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm going to link um, my little script subscription bubble and a playlist somewhere on this screen at some point in time for you to click to make it easy for you if you feel like watching some more videos or whatever you want to do. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to get a couple messages out just for you right now. Whatever you need to hear the most could relate to this connection or not. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, listen to your intuition. I'll get a couple affirmations out as well just to help uplift this energy because my goodness, is it chaotic. Don't be afraid to say I love you or thank you to those who deserve to hear it. Don't be scared of embarrassing yourself or appearing sappy. You will never regret a heartfelt I love you or a message of appreciation. You will only ever regret not saying it. This is giving me um, like Everglow by Coldplay vibes. If you love somebody, like let them know. Basically, you don't need to keep that all inside. Life is too short for that. The reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you. They've been removed from your life because the universe is taking you next. They have served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. Greater is coming. Very specific message. Okay, let's get out a couple affirmations for you. 
Today I will express myself. Today I will express my feelings openly and honestly by writing them down and reading them out loud. Beautiful exercise. Today I move forward. Today I see each obstacle as an opportunity to learn and grow. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave this message here. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day as always, and I hope to see you for a future video. Bye for now.